Hi, in this short tutorial, I will hopefully solve your woes and issues you've been having with your ViewSonic monitor. I personally own ViewSonic VX2458.C.MHD and after figuring out what was causing the issues, I have to say that for about 6 hours I've had no problems so far, when before I would get one of these issues pretty fast. Now the first issue I've been having was the screen would randomly go black and then come back up. That means I was just doing whatever basically and I would lose signal for no reason and the signal would come back. The second issue I've been having is the bias would simply not show up. The only time I could use the display was after I actually locked into Windows. So before actually getting into the Windows I had to use like a TV or a second display if I actually wanted to do what I'm uh, to see what I'm doing. And that's really annoying. Now the third thing I've been having and that I only noticed recently was I would get crashes. Not even blue screen of that crashes. I would get like hard crashes. The screen would turn black, the PC would turn off, and then after the BIOS, or in my case actually UEFI would try to boot back up, I would get long beep and three short beeps, which in my case it's Asus motherboard, so it would mean there's a problem with VGA. So I would automatically assume it's my GPU that's dying or something. I would also get these weird artifacts on my screen, even though I, I didn't even have the GPU overclocked. So the more I think, the more I was simply thinking, oh well, time to buy a new GPU. I actually realized it's this stupid monitor. That's what you get for buying a budget-friendly high refresh rate monitor. And now that you know what the issues are, which I hope yours are the same so we can fix them together, the solutions are actually quite simple. The first thing you'll have to do is go to start, settings, system, advanced display settings, display adapter properties, monitor, and you will sadly have to decrease the refresh rate from 144 to 120. Why does this work? I have no idea, but I noticed that if you're using HDMI or DisplayPort, you will have this issue. The only way to be able to use 144 Hz is if you are using a DVI-D. Again, why is that made that way? I have no idea, but it works. The second thing you'll have to do is go in your BIOS and disable CMS. CMS is essentially a feature that enables UEFI to simulate BIOS. That is useful if you have hardware that is simply not made for UEFI systems or it's like a really old type of hardware. That's when uh, UEFI simulates BIOS so the hardware can be used. But for some reason this monitor simply refuses to show BIOS if you have CMS enabled, meaning the simulation of BIOS. And it just doesn't want to show up. So the solution is simple, go into BIOS and disable CMS. You will 99.9% .9 have no issues whatsoever with uh, any other hardware. And you'll be able to use your monitor in the BIOS finally. And these two things are actually all you need to do to fix the issues. They may seem completely stupid, they may seem like they're never gonna work, but that's what worked for me and by the small amount of people on the internet, it worked for them as well. Now there is an alternative solution, which is, as I said before, to use DVI-D. Now for some reason, using DVI-D cable fixes these issues. You can use 144 and you will also be able to use the monitor in BIOS even though the CMS would be enabled. And I, as I said, I have no idea why would that work, but uh, my suspicion is that it's because the cable is somehow optimized for both UEFI and uh, BIOS and it just works. As I said, I have absolutely no idea, but if this 
tutorial helped you, I'm glad. Because I was fucking pissed I couldn't use my PC. Just because of a stupid monitor. And as always, till the next time.